Well, good day to you. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Daily Devotions with yours, Apostle Des. We're going through the book of Psalms each day, and today we're in Psalm, on, uh, Psalm 33. Psalm 33 we're in. And like I've said before, there's a particular verse in, in the Psalms that we read each day that really speaks to you or encourages you then please leave a comment in the comment section uh, saying, oh, that verse is encouraging you or oh, this devotion is encouraging you so that others may be blessed and encouraged with the word of God. So, Father, we pray as we read your word that you'd speak to us afresh by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So here we have, sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Hallelujah. So you, it says the those who are righteous sing joyfully to the Lord. And isn't it good to know that because we are in Christ Jesus, we've been clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We have no righteousness of our own. We only have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And it tells us to sing joyfully to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord. Hallelujah. For it is fitting and upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the ten string layer. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. See, we are called to shout for joy, shout praises to our God. You know, always find something to shout and praise God about. Hallelujah. And use whatever instrument you can. If you can't play any instruments, then just sing to the Lord. Hallelujah. With the voice he has given you, praise God. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all that he does. Isn't God faithful? We have a faithful God. He's faithful to us even when we are unfaithful to him. We have a faithful God. The word of the Lord is true. Hallelujah and right. It's always right. It's always true. And it always comes to pass. The word of God. God is faithful. He's faithful to us and he wants us to be faithful to him. Faithful to him in prayer, faithful to him in what he's called us to do, faithful in praising him and worshipping him. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. Isn't that true? The earth is full. It's full. Look around all creation. It's You see God's love. You see God's faithfulness in all of creation, don't you? By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, the stirry hosts by the breath of his mouth. Glory be to God. By the word of the Lord, God spoke, didn't he? He spoke. He said, let there be and there was. Guess what? When God speaks, things come into being. Things happen. When God speaks into your life and my life, by his word, things begin to happen. Hallelujah. He gathers the waters of the sea into, the, into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all people of the world revere him. That's what we want, doesn't it? It says, let all of the earth fear God. We're called to fear God, aren't we? How many know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom? And it says, let all the people of the world revere him. That's what we pray in that God, that, that God would move people into a, a living relationship with him. And so that they would revere him. Hallelujah. For he spoke and it came to be. Hallelujah. We've just said that, didn't we? He spoke. And it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. 
The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purpose of his heart through all generations. Hallelujah. See, the Lord thwarts the plans of the nations. How many know only God's plans come into being? God's plans. He thwarts the plans of the nations. The purpose, but the plans of the Lord, they stand firm. God's plan stands firm. God's plan was to bring salvation, and it's been standing ever since. Hallelujah. He wants salvation to come to every person. Hallelujah. The plans of the Lord stand firm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm going to leave it there. We in verse 11, we'll, we'll do the um, verses 12 to 22 tomorrow in Psalm 33. So I hope you've been blessed with the word of God. Read it yourself, these Psalms each day. They will bless you and encourage you. Uh, so we see you tomorrow. Yours, Apostle Des. Don't forget to leave a comment. God bless you.